Del Champs was a chain of supermarkets along the central Gulf Coast of the United States that opened in 1921 and closed in 1997. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified of my latest videos. Please hit that like button and leave a suggestion or a comment. You might see that in a future video. Thanks for watching and now back to a regular scheduled program. At Del Shams, we have our own way of saving you money. Del Shams' own brands, like our own Food Club brand. Less than national brands in price, but just as good in quality. Then there's Del Shams' own Top Cold brand products, Top Frost frozen foods, and Top Fresh bakery products. Food Club, Top Cold, Top Frost, and Top Fresh. Make them your brand of savings from the Savings Champs. Del Shams, you've got a problem. The chain was founded by Alfred Frederick Del Champs in November 1921 at the corner of Lawrence and Canal Streets in Mo Mobile, Alabama, which he operated along with his brother Oliver. Alfred De Champ had previously worked in the Chickasaw shipyards during World War I and with less than $1,000 started the business in 1921. Alfred's younger brother, Ollie, soon joined him, and they moved into a larger quarters at 450 Canal Street, followed by a second location at the intersection of Broad Street and Spring Hill Avenue. The grocery business was rapidly changing in the 1920s America. Customers entered a market and stepped up to the counter where an order was given to a clerk. The customers would stand there until the items had been retrieved, and then the clerk would wait on the next customer in line. On Fridays, after the weekly paychecks had been cashed, it was not unusual for a line to stretch out of the market's door as late as 11 p.m. as each customer requested the items they needed, as well as 5 cents of this or 10 cents of that. In 1928, the Del Champ brothers opened the first supermarket in Alabama at 660 St. Louis Street at Washington Avenue. It was completely self-service, with the exception of the meat counter. By the following year, there were six Del Champ locations around town stretching from Canal Street to Upham Street back when the city limits were at Florida Street. The Midtown building on Conti Street opened its doors in 1931 and had the distinction of being the first air-conditioned supermarket in Mobile. This turned out to be the largest grocery store in Mobile, as well as being the largest food store in Alabama. In 1931, Del Champs opened its first out-of-state location in Pensacola, Florida. A rival grocery chain, the Coleman Grocery Company, was acquired in 1937, making Del Champs the largest grocery chain in the city. In 1941, Del Shams opened its first store in Montgomery. In order to make future expansions possible, Del Shams incorporated in 1946. This incorporation allowed employees to own stock in the company as well. Del Shams promoted the concept of having a modern, well-equipped store in almost every neighborhood in Mobile. They had two locations in the booming new town of Pritchard, as well as 10 stores around Mobile and another in Pensacola. As the decades passed, Del Champs' expansion throughout the Gulf Coast region continued. By the 1980s, Del Champs was the second largest grocer in Alabama, owning 14.5% of the state market. In the late 70s and 1980s, the Walmart Supercenters began expanding into Alabama. Walmart had targeted Alabama as the first state to try to expand its supercenter concept. They decided to take their aim at the grocers there. Walmart first took aim at Mobile-based Del Champs. The Arkansas-based discount retailer began adding groceries to their new larger format 
of stores they called Super Centers, and after a trial run in Arkansas and Oklahoma, decided Alabama would be where it tested its competitive lethality. From Mobile to Huntsville, Walmart began opening up distribution centers in the state, buying goods at excess to volumes and low prices, and selling them at discounts traditional grocers couldn't match. In 1985, Del Champs unveiled its 42,000 square foot superstore supermarket concept. This format featured a bakery, delicatessen, and salad bar in addition to conventional grocery store amenities. The Del Champs superstores operated on a 24 hour basis. Over the next decade, Del Champs superstore supermarkets were constructed, replacing outmoded. Del Champs grocery stores and markets along the Gulf Coast. In 1988, Del Champs rejected several offers from AMP, which had been coveted by the Great Atlantic and Pacific Tea Company. Del, Del Champs management felt that they wanted to remain independent. In 1997, the chain was purchased by Jackson, Mississippi based Jitney Jungle itself a well-known brand name in its home state and neighboring Louisiana for $213 million in cash. At the time of the acquisition, Del Shams had 118 supermarkets and 10 liquor stores in Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida. A total of 114 Del Champs stores were purchased, with a handful being closed and another group being rebranded as Jitney Jungle. However, the purchase in Jitney Jungle's takeover by an investment firm proved to be ill-advised, and by 1999, the combined chains went into bankruptcy. The next year, some stores were sold off to the competitor Winn-Dixie. Most of those locations have since closed in the wake of that chain's own troubles and retrenchment toward its North Florida base. 19 other locations were sold to Bruno's supermarkets and converted to their brands. So what are your favorite memories of Del Shams? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C. Productions.